We're here at the Signal Processing Center of the Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex. It's a big day for us here. We're getting our big antenna, the Mars antenna, the 70 meter antenna, back on service after over six months of rehabilitation work. There were several different things that were done for this antenna at this time. The, the biggest job was replacing the azimuth bearing. This whole antenna floats on a film of oil about five to ten thousandths of an inch thick. It's about the, the thickness of a sheet of paper. We had to replace the entire assembly that allowed that to happen. In addition, we also replaced the elevation bearings, which is what helps the antenna rotate up and down. For the elevation bearing replacement, we had to jack up a, few, a little over two million pounds to get the, the old roller bearings off and the new roller bearings back in. This antenna is over 40 years old. This is the first time that we've replaced this hydrostatic bearing on it. This new bearing should last at least another 40 years. By putting in the new bearing, we hope to reduce the amount of maintenance effort that goes in there. And again, less maintenance time means more tracking time. More tracking time means more scientific discovery for the projects. Now we're going to acquire the signal, which we are three-way with station 25. So we're acquiring the signal, which is the signal level over here. They ended up uh, locking on the spacecraft. Uh, great signal level. We have a number of missions that are relying on the, the big dish. Uh, uh, Juno is coming up, uh, Mars Science Laboratory when it uh, lands. We have a number of critical activities planned for this antenna, so that's why we want to keep it running. And it should be in tip-top shape. <laughs>